anyways, today, oh, hold on. I don't like the way that my camera is looking. Let me fix that. Oh, 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 oh. Today I'm doing something different. I know y'all used to see me doing vlogs and things like that. Yes, I'm sipping my wine. So this is something different for y'all, baby, because I don't even be doing all this. Not all the time anyway. Y'all get those those type of videos randomly, sparingly. Well, not on no, on no personal, like me actually talking to the camera with my wine type of thing. Y'all used to see me like with all these vlogs and everything. So just bringing something different to the channel. See how y'all like it. But I'm thinking about doing more of these type of videos more um like reviews and things like that on um up and coming businesses and their products and stuff uh hauls on like vendors that i get stuff with so um anyway so today i decided to do a life update for one um and then also just a little small little mini Q and A, and me just kind of reacting to some of your um, first impressions. So I asked you guys on Instagram what were your what was your first impressions of me, um, or asked any questions that you had. You guys um, did respond to that, so thank you for those who did respond. So I just kind of screenshotted a few of them, just a couple of them, not a lot, and I'm just going to kind of answer some of these. Um. So first, let's just kind of get into uh i guess life update so me i am from the let like the the video that i posted when i first created my channel well not when i first created the channel but when i first got back onto my channel and actually used my channel for you know me actually doing making videos um i did a welcome to my channel video kind of did a little q a and everything um so let me just kind of update y'all because that was a good while ago since you know i kind of did that but anyways um life update y'all been drinking oh i got my tito's and my red wine i actually been sitting on live.me and um just been jumping in people's broadcasts and you know jumping in they being like hey see a shot take a shot you know that's my thing see a shot take a shot so i've been doing that um but anyway let's get into what y'all came here for so a little life update for me i am currently um just kind of trying to scale my brand kiss by tiara Ray. um we got plus size inventory ladies Woo -hoo! so we do got the plus size in I actually have a photo shoot tomorrow that i'm supposed to be doing with a plus size model um so that we can get those pictures up on the website and get these clothes out to y'all because i know a lot of ladies were in my inbox about you know purchasing from kiss by tiara Ray. however i only had small medium large type of clothing so they're like girl i would buy something from you but you ain't got nothing for the big girls and i was like okay sis i got you let me get something for the big girls because i can't forget about y'all so we will be dropping our plus size line within the next week so stay on the lookout for that also just i just been trying to get my like passive income up like just really just been trying to focus on you know having acquiring different streams of streams of income so i just actually started publishing like low content books i got like i was not talking to you why am I, y'all, why am I phone trying to text somebody that I don't even, trying to text my, the dude I used to mess with. <laughs> you 
you know how like you have somebody's phone somebody's number saved in your phone just so you don't answer them like you don't want to delete their number because you don't want to um accidentally answer because i don't know nobody's number by heart so i don't want that person calling me and then i accidentally answer it like oh who's this unknown number um so you know how you save the phone like do not answer or in my case don't answer that Denied. fucking trash <laughs> So I have it saved in there, so I know not to answer. But um, I, I'm over here about to accidentally text the person. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So um, yeah, so I just started like putting out low content books. I have a few self care journals that I dropped. One's called Woo Child, Mama's Tired Self Care Journal for Moms. I dropped a um, coloring book for stoners. So you, you know, you like to, you know, you know, you like to get elevated and then you like to do like extracurricular activities like journaling or coloring. And let me tell y'all about that. So the reason why I decided to do that is because one day my best friend was over here and we, um, you know, we, we were smoking and then she pulled out these coloring books and I was like, bitch. Yes, we grown as hell. You got me over here about to be coloring, coloring books. What the heck? But once I started, once I started like coloring and just listening to the music, and I'm like elevated, and I'm just coloring. It was a whole vibe. Like I really, I really liked it. And so I was like, this is definitely something that people are into. So I decided to make a coloring book for stoners. I did that. Um, I'm going to kind of. I think I'm going to put out more of those. A lot of different visuals um so right now i'm kind of in the market or i'm looking for um somebody who can draw i need someone to illustrate because i can't draw um and i don't want to keep getting stock photos off of like canva and stuff like that so i need somebody who can draw like characters i want to do like a um natural girls like a stoner chicks like natural girl stoner chick type of thing or whatever like the big hair because i just i would love to color something like that like the big hair you know just be sitting and i'm just lifted and i'm coloring that's my thing right there but anyways so that's what i'm doing some low content um i'm trying to get into you know learning how to day trade and stuff because i think that's very very important learn you know to trade um i just been preparing for i have a trip coming up going to tulum so i just been kind of preparing for that just kind of trying to get my exercise and i don't know if y'all can tell your girls losing some inches <laughs> you see it <laughs> you see her <laughs> come on baby come on don't play with it so uh <sighs> that's been going on what else um i bought a cricket machine and baby, I joined some cricket Facebook groups. And baby, y'all be, y'all be, y'all be coming up with some designs, boy. Y'all are creative, okay? And I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck? But I want to definitely start getting into making t-shirts and stuff. I'm thinking about making like the girls who are going on our, my um, trip to Tulum, um, like t-shirts, um, vacation, girls trip vacation type t-shirts, or just the trip. It's not even a girls trip, actually, honestly, because we... <laughs> We do have um, a man coming with us, so it's not even a girl's trip. So yeah, those are just some of the things that I'm doing. Just, you know, trying to raise my son, um, you know, being a single parent um, and just trying to, like I said, scale my business, get my brand out there some more. That's pretty much it. So that's my life updates. Let's get into these reactions and these questions. Like I said, I didn't really get a lot of them. I don't know. I screenshot a few of them. I'm a little... How much... How much I've been drinking? Because I'm a little tipsy. Like I said, I was in the, in the live me on live me and I um was taking shots with people though. I ain't even gonna lie. Alright. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, This one, I didn't... I didn't say like the people who asked the questions or who said it. I'll make sure to do that on the next one. Shout y'all out because I do appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, interacting on my Instagram because not a lot of people interact. Um, they'll watch your stories and shit, but they won't say nothing or like a post or nothing. So I appreciate everybody who interacted in my 
and my stories and everything who did ask questions and um you know who did give me a react um a first impression so thank you i appreciate that and before we get into it if you have been sitting here watching this video and you're still tuned in go ahead and hit that like button for me please and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed please i'm on the road to 1000 i'm trying to get a thousand subscribers so go ahead and hit the subscribe button don't be a hater if you still watching that means you're tuned in you like you you, you obviously are intrigued something got your attention so go ahead and hit the subscribe button also comment let me know if you like this type of content from me or if you prefer the vlogs or what type of content would you like to see from me let me know so that way that i can bring y'all what y'all want to see so that y'all can continue to watch me. Anyways. All right, so Q&A and first impression. Um, okay, so somebody said, somebody, okay, this is a first impression. They said the energy, <laughs> all these emojis, love, not shy and very outgoing. So thank you. Um, I remember who actually said that and she's so beautiful that that girl is so beautiful um, She's always tuned in and you know interacting in my stories and stuff. That's one of them like Strangers are your biggest like supporters type of thing. Yeah So, um, but thank you Love my energy Definitely. I'm definitely not a shy person. I do try to be outgoing like when I go to events and things like that I'm always like speaking to people and just trying to be like the life of the party. This is just my personality. So <sighs> I'm glad that that was your first impression of me because looking at some of these <laughs> ah, Everybody didn't have the same opinion, but thank you love All right, so this one is actually um <laughs> somebody said has your <laughs> has your ass found a babysitter yet <laughs> no i still haven't found a reliable babysitter yet y'all i know i get like i have like a lot of friends who like ask me to go places or just people who ask me to you know get out and do things i got club promoters who want me to come out to the clubs and things like that and I would listen I'm all for it I'm all for it I would definitely go my thing is I just don't have a babysitter that's the only thing and and, and unfortunately you know what I'm saying the person that helped me conceive this child is not in his life so and, you know it'd be hard for me but I mean I'm, I'm with the shits I'm down to you know to do all the stuff that everybody invites me to is just I have to find a reliable babysitter and that's on me um I think my thing is whenever Princeton was younger I was not with letting him just go with anybody because and I'm still not with him going with anybody um but more so when he was younger because he couldn't really he couldn't talk and I need to know okay people are weird and I need to know so now that he can talk and he can let he be snitching on me all the time like oh mommy pop me like <laughs> so you know now that he can kind of communicate that type of stuff um I'm more open to you know a little bit more let him get out a little bit more so now i just have to find somebody that you know i would prefer you know somebody's like auntie who speaks another language or something that could teach him some things you know while they're watching him some you know something like that but um yeah so to answer the question no i haven't found a, a reliable babysitter yet i'm still working on that because at this point like I can't, I, I I gotta get out there. I gotta get my face out there. You know, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to scale my brand, and um, I gotta get out. I gotta get out in these streets. Okay, I gotta get out in these streets. Network, meet new people. Just something I have to do. So I'm working on it. Okay, I'm working on it. Whoever asked that question, I am working on it. Probably one of my friends. <laughs> that sounds like some shit my friend would. Um, and then that's another thing too. Like it's like my friends all of my friends that i would want to watch my son that i that i trust to watch my son i want them to be out with me you know what i'm saying so it's like uh it's hard because it's like all of my friends i'm gonna ask them like if i'm doing something i'm gonna ask them if they want to go so it's like damn you can't babysit because i want you to come with me you know so it's hard but i'll figure it out um okay let's see this one is a first impression uh it says I thought you were a down ass bitch 
I was right. What the? Huh. And I know who said that. That's my boo. Girl. So we met. We met. Um, we worked at the same job or whatever. And it was like, you know, how you meet people and it just be like instant connection. That's how it was with me and this girl. Um, she said, I thought she was a down ass D. You better know it. Ah, okay, listen. <laughs> one thing, one thing about me. I dealing, I dealing real, okay? I dealing real, and I'm, you know, I, I, I try to be, I try to be honest as, as possible. I mean, I don't, I don't lie to adults. I lie to kids. <laughs> what I need to do a lie to an adult for? <laughs> I'm grown as fuck. What I need to be lying to an adult for? But anyways, yeah, I try. You know, what I'm saying I try. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Listen, if, if, if I rock with you, I'm, I'm. If I rock with you, I'm gonna hold you down, and I, I got your back. That's just how I am. That's how I am. And if I tell you that I got your back and I rock with you and I love you, I mean that shit forever. So anybody that's ever been in my life and I told you I love you and I rock with you, unless you did some slime ball grimy ass shit to me, I still got your back. Whether we talk or not, that's just me. Like if I was to see you out and about and something was going down, I'll I'll have your back. Period. That's just how I am. <laughs> Somebody said the resting bitch face is strong with this one. So that <laughs> so that was your first impression. The resting bitch. Listen, they're not even lying because my resting bitch face, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I, I like I, I like I'll be out in public and stuff, and like men will come up to me like smile. And I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> But I'm goofy as fuck. That's the crazy thing about it. I'm goofy as fuck. But I do have a very strong wrestling bitch, bitch face. So. But hopefully, you know, whoever's, um, whoever sent this first impression, hopefully, you know, after you got through the wrestling bitch face and you got to, you know, meet the cool person that I am. Because I'm cool. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Y'all, I'm a little tipsy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little tipsy. That wine will do it to you. That's what I was telling my homegirl. She had posted on Facebook. She was like, what's up? Like, what's up with this wine? Like, y'all be talking talking all this about wine, 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 wine. Like, I'm a liquor person. And I was like, girl, drink you some wine. Let me tell you, hit, to, hit them loins. See, I prefer to drink wine with, like, you know, a little boo thing. Because, uh, <laughs> wine will get you in that mode. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Want to get you in that mode? I'm gonna be careful because I got um, a, I got a matching rug to match this, and I don't need to be spilling shit. Okay, so next question. This one is a question: When you drop in the clothes for the plus size girls? So, like I was saying earlier in the video, plus size clothing is coming very, very soon. I have a photo shoot coming up, and um. You know, I'm going to get those photos edited and up on the website as soon as possible. As soon as I do that, plus size will be coming to you. So I said within the next week or so, I'll have the plus size um, clothing. It won't be ready by the time this video drops, but I'll have the plus size up and going within the next week. So stay tuned. And I'll put my, um, my website down here. Or in, in, in the description as well. It's always in the description. If you ever look at my description. It's always in there. Oh shit. Somebody said she look like she be ready to fight. <laughs> what? I look like that y'all? I look like I be ready to fight? Now I don't. I don't be ready to fight. I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. Come on man. I love. I, love. I don't fight. Now back in college, I'll, I'll fight. I'll, I mean, t today I'll fight too. I'll still don't get it twisted. Don't get it fucked up, okay? I will fight all about my son for sure. But um, I don't do all that. I'm too grown, you know, to be to be fighting or whatever. But but one thing about it, you ain't gonna be disrespecting me though. Know that. But I'm a lover though, so. I don't want y'all to, I don't want that to be people's first impression thinking I'm like, ugh, like I'm one of them, like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I mean, I, I, I will if I have to, but I don't, 
Like, I don't be looking for trouble. I promise. <laughs> um. <laughs> Somebody said, we met at work and I thought you were funny as hell. Started making everyone laugh. <laughs> yes. So, we met at work. Most, most of the people that I meet at work, they... They say the same thing about me. I'm just very, very goofy. I'm a very, very goofy person. Um, I know that like all of like the corporate jobs that I've worked, people have always say the same thing. Like, girl, you missed your calling. Girl, you missed your calling. Why you, why you working at this job? This is not what you're supposed to be doing. You are so funny. Like, I hear that all the time. So it's like, I need to do something with this because clearly, if everybody's saying the same thing, <laughs> You know, I'm just saying, but thank you. Um, somebody said, thought you look like Shirley, LOL. <laughs> now this one, I, I figured out. This one, um, um, this is one of my IG followers. I love, love, love her. Um, and again, another one of those, like, when they say, like, strangers will be, like, your biggest supporters. Yeah. Um you know just the interaction you know with with her on my instagram like she just be giving me life like i love this girl but yes so i figured out who Shirley was though like if you follow me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram follow me okay please and thank you i follow back but um <laughs> i figured this out on instagram i posted it in my instagram story so she was like I, I, you look like Shirley, and i'm like who is Shirley? and she was like sis i told you i told you this like when i first Whenever I first like started following you, I told you you look like Shirley. I told you all this, and I was like, "Girl, you know I be smoking." <laughs> you know I be looking. I forgot. But um, so then she sent me the the page of the person she was talking about, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, yes, we both look like Shaka Khan's daughters." <laughs> so I can get where people would think I look like that girl. She's very beautiful too. Um, but but I had posted on my Instagram like Shirley who, Shirley Caesar Temple. Who you talking about? And then she told me. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Another one says, thought you were stuck up, but you are as goofy as I am. <laughs> I'm as goofy as you are. So you're a very goofy person. If if I'm as goofy as you, because I'm very goofy. Um, I have one other friend that's probably probably as goofy I, as I am, or even more goofier than me. Um, and that's my homegirl Ashley. <laughs> She is hilarious. Um, so I wonder if that's even, this might be her. This might be her. Girl, Ashley, you said this. Thought you were stuck up, but you are as goofy as me. I got that a lot when I first moved to Georgia. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, PA. So when I first moved to Georgia, I know um, a lot of people were like, oh, I thought you were stuck up, or you just seem so stuck up. I don't know if it was my accent or or what, but yeah people thought I was stuck up but I'm not I'm not a stuck up person I'm just a very goofy person all right let's see somebody asked a question they said when you want to do something other than vlogs on YouTube well I do do other things other than vlogs if you haven't looked at my page go look at my channel I got other things I got mukbangs I got um a lot of different things on there um however i have lately been just like putting out vlogs though I, I i will say that so um this is something different here that i'm recording now so that'll be something other than a vlog that you'll get but if you want to see something different from me let me know just you know leave it in the comments um you know let me know what type of videos y'all want to see on this channel and i'll get it to you i'll i'll, I'll, I'll do it just let me know um i'm trying i'm actually trying to do more of like um hauls so y'all can kind of get more into like my, the business side of what i do and i want to do like when i order from vendors and things like that i kind of do like some hauls or ratings on the products and i also want to start rating like other up-and-coming businesses their products and um kind of get give them some exposure as well with um those type of videos okay so if you do have an up and coming business i'm going to have my p.o box in the description send me your stuff y'all send me your stuff or you can comment in the comments 
to your website link i'll be more than happy to purchase i'm all about supporting you know what i'm saying up and coming businesses i'll be more than happy to purchase something from your website and then review it for you if you know what i'm saying if that's what you want just let me know hit me up let me know <laughs> all right somebody says <laughs> she cute <laughs> she cute but she got hoes <laughs> baby listen i get that so much like i get that so much like oh yeah you look like you got a lot of like you have a lot of dudes or you look like you a player and it's like i'm really not like i'm i'm really not i'm a pisces i'm a pisces like i'm a hopeless romantic like i'm all about like romance like i'm all about true love and all that fairy tale shit oh, i hate it oh I, I hate that i'm like that i really do i want to be a savage i want to be out here in these streets <laughs> look i want to have a team okay and i could but i'm just like i don't know i'm a hopeless romantic i i um I just have my hopes on like, you know, meeting my Prince Charming and being all head over heels in love and stuff. I thought I met him. I thought, I thought, I thought that I, um, I thought I did meet him and I thought that that was the case, you know, this, this past year, but, uh, it, it's different. It's different nowadays. It's different now. Like dating is different nowadays. So, ugh. I'm just gonna leave that right there. So, no, I'm not a player. No, I don't have hoes. I listen. The pff, this is telling my business, but oh well. The last time I did it was back in March, like the day after my birthday. No, like the day after my birthday party. My birthday party was like March 6th. So the day after my birthday, like that night and that morning. <laughs> but that was the last time I did it. That was the last time I did something. So I don't got hoes, y'all. I do not. My phone be dry as hell. So that's all the questions. I don't want this video to be too, too long. So um, if you do have any questions that y'all want to ask, drop them in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. Like this video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm on the road to 1K. Help your girl out. Help me get there. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all on the next one.